So as you can see here, I picked up two lightning to USB cables. These things are actually pretty plentiful at my local Apple store. Just walked right in and picked up two of them. Uh, these things are necessary, obviously, if you want to charge your iPhone 5. Now, granted, the iPhone 5 does come with one of these, but you're going to need multiple lightning to USB cables if you ever plan on charging your, your device elsewhere, unless you want to just take the cable with you wherever you go, which is kind of annoying. I like to have a cable in my bedroom. I like to have one in my office. I like to have one in the car. I like to have one in the kitchen. Wherever I'm, I'm at, I just want to have one of these readily available so that I can charge my device at my convenience. I don't have to sit here and, or search around and look for a USB charging cable. So I know I already had a dedicated lightning video that kind of compared the size differences between it and some of the older USB cables, but I wanted to show you a standalone lightning cable unboxing as I've done here. Uh, if you've owned an iPhone or an iPod within the last 10 years, then chances are you have a 30 pin cable. Chances are you have tons of them. I have no less than 30 30 pin cables lying around the house and now they're all pretty much worthless unless I plan on using an older device like the iPhone 4S charging that, etc. As you've seen, Apple charges $19 per cable to buy them individually like this. Of course, you get one with your iPhone 5, but let me know, have you picked up a few extra lightning to USB cables to have around the house? Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.